Hey, I'm Lisa McWhorter, Iceland elopement photographer, and on this YouTube channel I do share every Tuesday Iceland elopement planning tips to help you plan out your day. So, new video drops up every Tuesday. After watching this specific video, you will know things you shouldn't be doing while planning and having a destination elopement. So, on today's video, I will be talking about five big mistakes couples usually make while planning their destination elopement. Destination elopements has been in the past years and especially after COVID been rising a lot and it's been coming more popular and popular for people to elope abroad. But let's jump to the top five biggest mistakes couples make while planning a destination elopement. With number one, inviting guests that are not up to the destination's weather. If you are having your elopement in Iceland, the weather is always unpredictable and your ceremony can be happening even in strong wind and even under rain. If you are inviting guests to your elopement, you need to make sure they fully understand the weather of the destination. Nothing kills more your elopement day than having guests completely and entire time complaining about the weather. 2. Avoid rushing from a location to a location. So you are in a new country and you want to see as much as possible on your day and have pictures taken in much as locations you can. And I get it, it's super exciting, you be, you're getting married, you're in a whole new country that has been in your bucket list for a long, long time. But you have to remember to breathe and also to enjoy the views. Usually having a destination elopement abroad, couples try to schedule too much into one day and they forget to embrace the moment. Remember to pause and actually enjoy your elopement day. Number three is checking your wedding dress or suit at the airport. You are allowed to bring your wedding dress and suit to the cabin and ask the flight attendants to hang out the dress. I would not recommend on leaving your wedding dress in your luggage in case it would get lost. That would be a very, very terrible nightmare to live through if your wedding dress or suit wouldn't be making it to Iceland at all. Number four is not planning the travel delays. Whenever your delay is weather related or mechanical issues with the plane, delays must be considered when making your wedding plans. The best way to fit potential days into your schedules is to give a cushion of time. Add at least one extra day for travel to the beginning of the travels of your or even after your elopement and honeymoon in Iceland. Number five is planning your elopement abroad all by yourself. If you're planning an elopement to a country you have never visited before, it can be very difficult. While having a local planner, you will get so much more local information that can be found just by that can't be found just by scrolling Google's first page and you can have way too much stress if you can't find the answer to your questions which a local photographer or a pl wedding planner could so easily answer to. For example, one of my groom's car ran out of battery in one town and we weren't sure would we get the car going on. Luckily, I knew a person living in the same town and I just contacted them and we were able to recharge the car's battery and get the car going on. So that's also a great example on why you need to know a local or have a local helping you planning out your day. Are you with me? I would love to hear in the comments below are these the biggest mistakes to avoid while doing a destination elopement. I would love to hear what kind of mistakes have you had while planning your destination abroad. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for being here. This means very lot to me and on next Tuesday another video to help your Iceland elopement going better. See you next week. Bye!